Today I'm going to show you how to get the Hoarder of Barnacled Gold commendation and the Silent Barnacle set. First things first, this is the Silent Barnacle set. It is a reskin of the Whaling Barnacle set, which Whaling Barnacle is no longer obtainable, so this is an obtainable version. This is an entire set with the exception of the figurehead. There is currently no figurehead for this set. Now, this set can be purchased from the normal vendors as usual. Your clothing is from the clothing vendor, the equipment's from the equipment vendor, and the ship set's from the ship vendor. I don't currently own the ship set because it's a little bit pricey, but the one thing is you need a specific commendation to be able to purchase any of it. It's all locked behind one commendation, so it's fairly straightforward. Now, this commendation is a real grind. It is a very, very time-consuming commendation but it's one you can kind of do passively. So the combination in question is Hoarder of Barnacled Gold. This combination is a Gold Hoarders combination. To get to it, Pirate Log, Reputation, Gold Hoarders, and it's here, Hoarder of Barnacled Gold. Now this requires you to sell 300 shipwreck chests to the Gold Hoarders. It's very important that you sell them to the Gold Hoarders. Reapers don't count. Now, first of all, what is a shipwreck chest? A shipwreck chests are chests like this with barnacles stuck on them and they look kind of like broken, some of the metals pulled off. These are shipwreck chests. They come in four variants. Hey, okay, uh, quick interjection here. I don't have pictures of all four variants, so I'm taking them from the wiki. So these pictures are from the Sea of Thieves wiki. I'll leave a link in the description to this page so you can go there. Uh, okay, that was it. Um, back to the actual video. The Castaway shipwreck chest, the Seafarer shipwreck chest, the Marauder's Shipwreck Chest, and the Captain's Shipwreck Chest. Sometimes the name just displays as Captain's Chest, but if it has this model with the barnacles and like the mold, that is a Shipwreck Chest. So if it looks like one of these, it's a Shipwreck Chest. It is important to note, Skeleton Captain's Chests are not Shipwreck Chests. They may look barnacled and kind of wrecked, but this is not a Shipwreck Chest. It will not come for the combination. Now, where do you get these chests? So there's two primary ways, but there are a few other kind of less primary ways. First, the most reliable method is shipwrecks. If you look out on the seas, sometimes you'll see these big flocks of seagulls. If you go over to them and dive down, you will find a shipwreck. According to the wiki, a shipwreck will hold one to five pieces of random treasure, which can include a shipwreck chest. From my experience, I have found somewhere between zero and two shipwreck chests, two being the best, and then most of the time I get one, but occasionally there's nothing. To my knowledge, they can spawn on the middle deck and bottom deck and the captain's quarters. They can't spawn on the top deck, pretty sure. So look around the whole boat, try and find them, take them out and sell them to the gold. It is worth noting, finding shipwrecks, sometimes they're poking out of the water like this, but most of the time you just have to look for the seagulls. With the seagulls, there are two randomly generating types of flocks. There are smaller flocks, which you have to be fairly close to, which just indicate barrels. And there are larger flocks, which you can see from much farther away that indicate a shipwreck. So keep that in mind when you see seagulls. Next method is skeleton ships. Pretty much every single skeleton ship I have ever fought has a shipwreck chest on board, pretty much. I wanna say like 95% of the time they have a shipwreck chest. Random skeleton ship attacks you, sink it. If you see one of the skeleton ship clouds, maybe go do it. You might get a few shipwreck chests. It is worth learning with this. You don't actually have to sink them. It's not in the sunken loot. It's just on board somewhere. So if you just have someone jump off board, find it, they can take it, and then jump back onto your ship. Most of the time, it is just one chest, though. I think I have seen a few times where it's two, but pretty much all the time, skeleton ship will have one shipwreck chest. And now the less reliable methods, but I'm gonna mention them because it can happen. You can find shipwreck chests just beached on shore, so like either underwater, just in the sand, or above water. I'm pretty sure every single chest that washes up on shore is a shipwreck chest, if it can be. So if it would have been a normal captain's chest, it's a shipwreck captain's chest, pretty sure. The wiki also says there's a chance to find them hidden on islands. I don't think I've ever found a shipwreck chest hidden on an island though, so I, I don't know. And the final method, which is um, very, this isn't listed on the wiki, this is my personal experience. You know the quest board on like every dock? If you go up to that, and take a map, if it's an auto-generated server map, it normally has two X's. I have found, when I recorded my video for like the uh, Midnight Blade set, I found most of the randomly generated maps, at least I assume they were randomly generated, had a shipwreck chest. I don't know why this happens, or if this is even intentional, or what, what the heck is happening here, but if you're really needing some, you can try that. I, again, no idea if that's reliable, 
I just found that I got quite a few shipwreck chests from doing those. And I'm assuming they were auto-generated because I got like four or five that were just two items. And then most of the time it was a shipwreck chest and then some other random like mermaid gem or something. Those are my methods for how to get them. Uh, I would recommend skeleton ships and shipwrecks. Shipwrecks are also a great source of resources, so there's another reason to go check them out. And if you're Pirate Legend, sinking skeleton ships will also count towards the Legend of the Sea of Thieves commendation. Now, again, you have to sell 300 of them to the Gold Hoarders specifically, I cannot stress that enough. You have to sell them to the Gold Hoarders. Now, once you have this commendation, you're pretty much done, but the Silent Barnacle set, I just want to mention this, is a pricey set. It is, in total, 2.6 million gold. It's, so it's not like the most pricey, but it's pretty pricey. <laughs> the 1.2 million of that is the ship set. And um, yeah, anyway, I think that is pretty much everything. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I will try to answer them as soon as possible, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.